Welcome to Serato Sample 1.1. I'm OP, Artist Relations Manager here in New York City. Serato Sample is our powerful and intuitive new sampler plugin for producers, available in VST and AU formats. Since the release of Serato Sample 1.0, music producers across multiple genres have used the plugin with ease and efficiency to create music. We listened to producers' feedback, and we've made two major improvements, adding Q output routing for per pad output to DAWs, and also undo redo to correct accidents and mistakes to cue points and parameters. Serato Sample officially supports Ableton, FL Studio, Machine, and Logic, but should also work with other DAWs that supports VSTs and AUs. So why use Q output routing? Using Q output routing will prevent users from creating multiple instances of Serato Sample with the same sample source to control mixer output for individual sounds. This provides an easier workflow for using one instance of Serato Sample to control multiple pads for Q output routing. Q output routing can be used with any auto set feature, including find samples, set slicer, set random, and key shift pad, or it can be used with any pad for cue points that are manually created. Q output routing can be used to control just a few sounds for individual routing or all 16 pads. With Q output routing, you can control individual pad sounds for mixer control in a DAW, including volume and panning. Effects plugins such as EQ, compression, delay, reverb, and more can be used per channel in the DAW's mixer. Step 1. I opened up Ableton Live 10 and loaded an instance of Serato Sample. I clicked on Load and loaded the song Doo-Wop, That Thing by Lauryn Hill into Serato Sample. I made the master tempo in Ableton 110 BPMs, and Serato Sample matched the tempo because it automatically synced. Step 2. I clicked on the arrow for the auto set features and selected Set Slicer. I moved the cursor to the beginning of the vocal breakdown in the track, and I selected the beat size to be one beat and press Set Slicer, which created 16 slice regions. I made some very slight adjustments to the start and end points of some of the regions. Step three, I then selected output and began to select the outputs for each pad. Please note, if creating 16 Q output routings, the destination for one of the 16 Q output routings will be set to master. Each of the other pads will be set to outputs two through 16. Step four, in Ableton Live 10, I created four audio tracks. The MIDI track with the instance of Serato Sample was set to be master. On the other audio tracks, for the audio from, for the input type, I made the external end set to the instance of Serato Sample. For the audio from, for the input channel, I made it correspond to the Q output routing set in Serato Sample. Once each channel was set, I began to play the pads, and each had a separate output to the assigned channel. On each of the channels, I did hard panning left and right to spread the vocals. I then added effects such as EQ, compression, and flanger. I then performed a MIDI recording with the cue points with the desired slices. I wanted to change the feel of the sample, so I changed the global key from 8A to 9A using the Camelot wheel key notation setting. Parameters available to change include level, filter, attack, release, reverse, key shifting, and time stretching. Step five, after making a drum sequence to match the MIDI performance of the vocal samples from Serato Sample, I created another instance of Serato Sample using the Missy Elliott acapella and set three manual cue points on the vocal phrases that I liked. Pop that, pop that. Shake that, shake that, make that money. For the first cue point, I made a slight adjustment to the attack. For the second cue point, I made a slight adjustment to the attack and also used key shifting to transpose the cue point by minus five. For the third cue point, I made an adjustment just to the key shifting, again by minus five. Each pad was set to cue output routing to separate audio channels from Serato Sample to Ableton. Once the vocals were panned, I added effects such as EQ, compression, and echo. Step six. To finish off the beat, I opened up two more instances of Serato Sample on separate channels. For the first instance of Serato Sample, I opened up the tambourine section on the sample source Think by Lynn Collins, and I time stretched the cue point down to about minus 50 to give the tambourine some drag. For the second instance of Serato Sample, I took an 808 bass tone and time stretched it and changed the global key from 8A to 9A using the Camelot wheel key notation setting. 
I also put the sample into keyboard mode so I could play the bass note across the 88 keys. I then recorded a MIDI performance of both of the instances of Serato's sample and finished off the beat. If you want to learn more, go to support.serato.com.